You're walking into a party or a work event, a place where you're gonna be meeting a lot of new people, and you go up to the first person. You say your kind of normal shtick, you ask them some small questions, and they seem to really like you. You know, you can kind of tell when you're received well, things go really well, you exit feeling good. You go up to the next person, say basically the exact same thing, it doesn't land well. You can actually see them in the corner later kind of looking at you like in a spiteful way. What happened? That's a bad feeling when you don't understand what's going on. And in this quick video, I'm going to teach you a technique that I kind of came upon last week when I was at, it was actually a kind of a mastermind conference where I was meeting a ton of new people. And I kind of realized this little trick that really works to give you the best chance of being received well by everyone. Because as we know, people are different. Some people are introverted. Some people are extroverted. Some people are quiet. Some people are shy. Some people are outgoing. Some people look shy, but are really outgoing going and if we can learn to simply tailor our approach just a little bit it's going to give you a much higher chance of having everyone in the room saying yeah i like that guy seems like a good guy versus some people saying that and some people saying yeah that bear and he just uh, just rubs me the wrong way we don't want that so what the technique is is incorporating the other person's personality into your approach so you don't have to study them in the corner for a week before. You can pick up on people's demeanors very quickly. I mean, I'd say within the first 15 minutes of seeing everyone interact, you have a 75% comprehension of what people's social personality is like. So how can you apply this? Well, let me tell you how I applied it. There's a guy who was, he was the first one who spoke extremely outgoing, wore very outgoing clothing, clearly drawing attention to himself, spoke very loudly, a very confident tone of voice. I'm gonna tell you what I did to approach him. And then there was another guy who I actually knew a little bit before, but is much more mild mannered and much more reserved. So how did I approach them differently? The outgoing guy, you go up to him at the break and you talk, you match his energy and his tone of voice, why? Because if you don't, he's not going to respect you. You got to show him that you're confident when you're talking in a loud voice, people are hearing you, you know, your body language, all that kind of stuff. You want to emulate them. It's kind of the old mirroring technique, but this is kind of a deviation of that. The old mirroring technique just says like, if you're hanging out with somebody, you're talking to them and they kind of sit like this. If you kind of sit like this, people have a natural tendency to feel rapport and closeness to people who basically mimic them physically. It's kind of a weird deal, but it's been proven. But I'm talking about applying this in an energy level. So you're approaching with the same energy, the same amount of outgoing. So I'll go up to him, man, that talk was great. I was so glad that you brought up this. I'm gonna be able to apply that specifically. How do you think he would have reacted if I would have gone up to him and just gave this presentation, high energy? Hey man, I just wanted to tell you that uh, I really like, he's like, okay, whatever, dude, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. I gotta talk to people. No respect at all. Now, what about the other guy that I went up to? Much more quiet and reserved when he interacts. He uses a very quiet tone of voice. Never makes big body language movements. Dresses clean, but not drawing attention to him like this other guy. So what did I do when I went up to him? Hey man, how are you? I saw you were you were doing this out in the hallway. I was actually in this other talk before. I thought it was great. Did you did you happen to be able to see that? So I'm not using a supplicative tonality, I'm just toning all of my energy down. Because what would happen if I would have gone up to this guy and be like, hey man, I was just out in the other, in the other talk, it was fantastic. I thought I might've learned some things that you might be able to apply, let's talk about it. what did you think about this? He, well, actually, if you talk like that, anyone would be turned off. But do you get what I'm saying? If I would have hit him with high energy, he'd have been like, whoa, whoa, whoa. He doesn't want everyone in the room turning to look at our conversation. The other guy loves that because he loves the stage. So I'm aiding him in what he's wanting. And in this guy, I'm aiding him in what he's wanting because he doesn't want the limelight. He doesn't want the spotlight. So go into it, match them where they are energy level and what they're comfortable with. And that's going to appeal to more people. How do you feel? about your tone of voice. If you were going to talk to that first guy, would you be able to command, like my voice right now, can you command that attention respect? Or sometimes when you talk to people, do they kind of ignore you or not give you respect or not even give you attention? I'd ask that you don't live like that. That's not a good way to feel like you never know if people are gonna give you that respect and snap to when you talk. 
I'll put a link in the description to a free checklist that you can get where I'm going to take you through five different things that you can immediately apply, apply to get that booming, strong tone of voice that really draws people in and creates that aura of respect and charisma. Now, this is kind of an easy application, right? It's an easy field where it's all people working together, kind of a networking event. What if you're out on a first date? If you want me to tell you a story about when I was out on a first date and three guys actually tried to clown on me to make me look bad in front of my date, I'll put that video right here and I'll walk you through it now. If you want to grab that free checklist, I'll put that right here so you can download it. I'll talk to you there.